Many just doesn't make them the way they used to. You see, the automaker used to be known for making cheap and small cars, but nowadays the vehicles are a little big and kind of expensive. But there's one thing you can always count on, they're going to be fun to drive. But there's one way to make a Mini Cooper S even more fun to drive. First, you start with weather like this, and then you drop the top. Yes, this is the brand new Mini Cooper S convertible, and you might be having a hard time telling it apart from the last model. That is, until you get up close to it and realize just how much bigger it is than before. Another great way to tell it apart is the new bumper and grille, and these cartoony looking headlights and tail lamps. And of course, a Mini just isn't a Mini without a few British touches. Our car features the Union Jack on its soft top, and other custom flexible parts like two-tone 17-inch wheels, black mirror caps, and this dark silver metallic paint. Now before all you car nerds jump down my throat and tell me that this can't be a British car because BMW actually owns Mini, the point is this car is still made in the UK, at least for the time being. We'll see what happens when this whole Brexit thing blows over. But that BMW Mini connection goes two ways. The Mini platform is actually in use by BMW in the new X1 and BMW contributes its turbocharging technology into this car, which means that the 1.6 liter four-cylinder engine is good to make 189 horsepower and over 200 pound-feet of torque. All Minis are available with a six-speed transmission, either an automatic or a manual, and I'm fortunate to say that this car has a manual transmission, and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's a great unit. To make things even sweeter, this car comes with an automatic rev matching downshifting function. That means every time I downshift, the car will automatically blip the throttle and ensure that my downshift is perfect. Don't tell me you're not impressed. On the road, this car is still fun to drive. It's lively and responsive, but it's clear that when the roof got cut off, some things changed quite a bit. In fact, there's a lot of extra weight, almost 200 pounds worth, and you can really feel it on the road. But you have to remember, this isn't a sports car. It's just a compact car, and a fun to drive one at that. But one complaint I do have about this convertible is that when the roof is down, it kind of obscures your rear view. This car also features selectable driver modes, which change the way that the throttle feels and the suspension feels if you have a car with the selectable adaptive dampers like our car does. And when you flip between the sport and green modes, the car shows you these really funny messages on the display, like let's minimalize or let's drive hard. In this time, it's really interesting to see car companies not take themselves too seriously. There's more of that kitsch and fun spirit inside the car. For example, there's these toggle switches for everything. And there's this ring of light around the center console that really breathes life into the cabin. In fact, there's even an openometer, something that calculates how long you've been driving with the top down. Now take a moment to think about other compact cars. They're typically cheap and flimsy with a limited interior pizzazz and aren't high tech at all. The Cooper S isn't anything like that. One glance at these gorgeous leather seats tells you all you need to know about the quality in this BMW backed Mini. I also have a nice navigation system, heated seats, a head-up display, backup camera, and parking sensors. And then there's the power roof, which can also be operated remotely, so you can raise or drop the roof from a distance. But like I said, this is no longer a cheap compact. Cooper S convertibles come at one big compromise, and that's the price. Sure, there's also the tiny trunk and the rear seats that become useless once the deflector is in place, but the biggest issue with the car is the price tag. The Cooper convertible starts at a pretty reasonable $26,800, but the Cooper S makes the jump to over $30,000. As tested, our model comes in at around $37,000 with all the options. It's important to note that there are very few compact convertibles out there, and fewer still with the same technology, performance, and style as this Mini. If you're looking for the total premium open-air experience, it's right here in the Mini Cooper S convertible.